Hey guys, a lot of people ask me, Albert, can you just explain to me, how did you become so successful in the mortgage industry? How did you become a multimillionaire? Based on my experience, I become a multimillionaire that, you know, lives in Truesdale State, Beverly Hills, drives a dream cars, and lives a life, gives my family an awesome, exclusive life, I give them royal treatment. We're about to go to Puerto Rico right now, but before I left, I wanted to make sure I, I answered this question today. So number one, step number one, don't be a quitter. I talk about this a lot, but it's very important. Look, reality is you're probably gonna be a slow starter or an average starter. But if you're a superstar, boy, it's gonna be really fun for you. But I'll repeat this at the end. But number two is you're gonna go through tough times. 2008 was my toughest time of my life. 2008, I lost everything. And I went from making 240,000 in the mortgage industry to making 60,000 the next year after the mortgage crisis hit and I lost everything. So what happens is I got to start again from scratch and I'm used to doing stated income loans. I don't know how to do anything else but stated income loans. Anybody could qualify, but now they tell me you got to start from scratch and now you have to qualify clients with their documents because there's no stated income anymore. So what does that mean? I have to go back to FHA loans, not back. I never did FHA loans, but people with experience, they've done FHA loans, not me. So here I am learning how to qualify people from scratch, getting all these documents, tax returns, W-2s, all, all this paperwork. Are you kidding me? I'm like, I cannot do this. Like I've never done this, but this is what I had to come back to. And while I'm going through this, I am homeless. I'm sleeping in my Ford Explorer for two months with my now wife, Syl. We're sleeping in the Ford Explorer. Every day we would find a place to sleep, park the car. It wasn't that bad. People think you hit rock bottom, but it wasn't that bad because we would park in nice neighborhoods, sleep, and even some days get naughty and have some good sex. You know, why not? Next to the beach, mansions in Beverly Hills, just find a good parking spot, uh, preferably with no lighting in the, in the top so that nobody could see you. And you know, the Ford Explorer is great for multiple positions. If you guys have one, you guys know what I'm talking about. But once I'm there, how did I improve? How did I get back to where I was when I started, when it was easy? Now it's harder, now you need all these documents. I cut the bullshit. No, I cut the bullshit and I started doing more. What do you mean, Albert? Is it that easy? How do you do more? You cut the bullshit. When you cut the bullshit, you have no idea how easy it becomes because now all your time is spent on valuable things. So I'm here doing more, doing more because I don't have time or money to spend partying or with different women because now I, you know, I'm homeless. I, mean, I sleep in the Ford Explorer. I have silt and that's it. So what's next? I got to go through self-improvement. I started going through this event, Todd Duncan event. It's a self-improvement. It's a motivational event, but about mortgages. So here I am sitting in the back. It's all I could afford. My buddy convinced me to go, go there and I'm sitting in the back. All the people in the back are so negative. They're talking about how hard it is and how the crisis killed them and it's impossible to get back on top and why th these tickets are so expensive everybody in the front like the speaker uh, Todd Duncan you know he's he's always happy because he's making so much money out of all these people that are paying him big dollars but then I make my own analysis so I start thinking wait a minute these people in the back are all broke they're all quitters and they're all complaining about bullshit while people in the front row are millionaires millionaire earners and they're speaking on stage telling their story and everything is great and i'm like i need to be in the front i need to invest in these high ticket prices because they have private lunches they have the after parties and i want to pick their brain you know, it's very easy copy what works so i'm there and i'm thinking next year i gotta sit a row further a section further then all the way in the front i need to be the guy telling my story up on stage now what happens this is going to be one of the things that I learned that changed my life in the mortgage game, this got me to my first million. Let me explain. So if you're a loan originator, very important, listen to this, take notes. You're gonna have four types of agents, four. You're gonna have the low producers, high maintenance. You're gonna have the low producer, low maintenance. You're gonna have the top producer, high maintenance, and you're gonna have the top producer, low maintenance, okay? You gotta start working with everybody because you gotta build your agent list. You gotta keep it at six. Okay, let me repeat that. You gotta keep it at six agents, six agents. That's what I did to become a millionaire. You start working with agents because those are gonna be your best friends because they're gonna give you a bunch of mortgages. So in the beginning, you take everything you get, but eventually you start cutting the first 
hardest to work with loser broker agents that are asking you for kickbacks. More than likely, those are the low producing, high maintenance agents. They take most of your time and they don't give you any deals. Second, you have to get rid of the low producing, low maintenance agents. So these are low producing, low maintenance, but low producing. Now you have the top two, high producing, high maintenance, high producing, low maintenance. You have to start cutting all the high producing, high maintenance agents until you're left with six agents that are high producing, low maintenance. These agents don't take much of your time and they give you other deals. And I'm talking about agents that do 40, 50, 60 loans a year. That's all you need. You are set. And this is what got me. You know, 2016, I made my first million in the mortgage industry. No assistant, just me, 1 million bucks. Next year, I follow it up. 2017, I hit 2 million. Okay, 2018, 3.6 million. 2019, we break it eight figures, 10 million plus. This year, 2020, we're gonna do way over 21 million in revenue. But it all starts in the beginning when it's just you. You're the solo loan officer, loan originator, mortgage lender, and you have no assistant. You wanna get your first, first assistant to help you scale. You have to build your army. And what do you do? You're scared, you go after a cheap assistant. You pay her 2,000 bucks or you pay him 2,000 bucks and it's hell. What you gotta do is you gotta hire a, a high producing agent. It's gonna cost you about 5,000 bucks a month, but you have to go for that. You have to put your money to work and you have to hire quality, not somebody that's gonna give you more work. You're gonna have to go back and fix it. So we hired our assistant, 5,000. I didn't wanna do it because I had a prior very bad experience when I hired a $2,000 a month assistant. It was horrible. My assistant, guess what? Lunch breaks, happy hour. One drink, two drink, three drinks. After lunch, my assistant was like acting differently, talking back to me, sending me nasty messages. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? In the morning time, so productive, so efficient, so respectful. After lunch, changed attitude. Talks back to me, doesn't want to do this, complainer. And I'm like, what's going on? Then I find out happy hour happens at lunch next door. So that's what you get when you pay, when you try to be cheap. So start in the beginning hiring quality because it's going to make your life easier. You build an army. Here at TMG, we offer equity. Anybody that joins the mortgage guys is going to get equity if you want it and if you earn it. It's not just, I want equity. Oh, I'm on the, you know, I've been with the company for five years. It's not that. It's not, it doesn't matter how many years you've been with the company. You have to earn it and you have to want it. How do you get it? There's a, uh, you know, a number of things. You have to be loyal. You know, you have to help the company grow. You have to bring in revenue. You have to recruit a lot of things, a lot of things that come into that. Now here at TMG, the mortgage guys, we have a lot of millionaires that we've developed. It's not only me. We have this guy named Andy. He's driving a Lamborghini. We have a uh, Willie driving his Bentley. You know, we have, Kim and JR driving a Ferrari and many, many more. One of our owners, Eli, owners of the mortgage guys, this guy, you know, he makes a million dollars plus. This guy drives an exotic, he drives a Tesla X. And listen, everything starts by being an LO. If you wanna become a millionaire, you wanna get the biggest checks, the mortgage industry is the best industry to make the most money. It's so easy to make money and it's so fast to get licensed. You gotta get a real estate license, salesperson license. It takes about three three months. You gotta get a mortgage endorsement, NMLS ID, takes another three months. Six months, maybe less, maybe a little bit more. You're qualified, you're licensed, you could start making your money. All you gotta do is help people finance their home purchase. And guess what? It's kind of repetitive income. It's kind of passive income because guess what? When people buy a house, you do their mortgage, and then guess what? Six months later, they wanna refinance. Six months later, they want to refinance because now they want to cash out money because they want to invest. Then guess what? Oh, rates drop. Let me refinance you again. Lower your rate. You're going to help them lower the rate. You're going to help them cash out, consolidate debt. And guess what? Every time you refinance, you make the same commissions. You make the same commissions that real estate agents make, but you have more opportunities to help more people. You want to get some mortgages? You want to get some clients? Go talk to CPAs. They deal with a lot of people that own homes that need mortgage help. If you know nobody and you just got started, you have family, you have friends, they probably own a house. Go reach out to them and tell them, hey, I just got my license and I wanna help you with your mortgage. So having said that, guys, I want to know what do you guys wanna learn 
next week. What do you want me to cover? If you have something here that you want me to add on or maybe explain better, please comment below. Please share, subscribe if you like this and give me your comments below. I want to know what do you want me to cover next week? See you soon.